618 T, all square, and the matches were all square. And uh, it was an unenviable situation as far as I was concerned. And we both hit tee shots down the last hole and I was racing off ahead and Jack hollered at me from behind, Tony. So I waited, he caught me up, he put his hand on my shoulder and he said, we're walking. You nervous? I said, Jack, I'm petrified. He said, I just thought I'd ask, because if it's any consolation, I feel exactly the same way you do. And he handed me the ball, conceding the putt, saying, I don't believe you'd have missed that, but I would never give the opportunity in these circumstances, which was unbelievable. And, uh, you know, tie, first tie in Ryder Cup history, and a gesture that was just unparalleled, you know, in our game. And I said, well, you know, I've accepted this uh, captain's role, but I can't do it without you. You know, I mean, I can do everything off the course, but I need you uh, on the course. You're the general, you know, you're the man everybody fears. He was best player on the planet. And uh, in the end, he said, OK, I help you. And uh, it was amazing. I mean, the rest history, really. We were on the roof at the Belfry. You know, I, I was sleeping there last night, funnily enough. And, you know, that memory will last forever. I was on Sam Torrance's shoulders in a very precarious position where champagne was flowing. And uh, it was the beginning of uh, a wonderful run.